Say something. I can't believe it. South Park made me cry. Hello, you beautiful people. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be reacting to South Park again. Tweak X Craig. And stay tuned to the end where I'm going to give this episode a grade for queer accuracy. All right, everyone, listen up. Today, we're going to be showing you some art from our Asian American students. Damn it, Leslie, shut your pie hole! Wow, he's aggressive. From our Asian American students, presented by a student body president, Wendy Testerberger. Hey, guys. As you know, we have several new students here at South Park Elementary. We have been getting to know some of the Asian girls who have introduced us to an art style called Yaoi. Yaoi is a blend of emotion and beauty, involving two people whose love is looked down upon. The art tries to show that all love is magical, like in Lisa Akimoto's piece, <laughs> Tweet and Craig Forbidden Love. Aww. What? Is Yaoi real? Let me know down in the comments. I'm not sure. Second, this is an interesting situation. First off, that artwork is adorable, but second, this could be potentially dangerous of outing someone, and based on Tweak's reaction, it sounds like this was something that isn't even factual. Kelly Zhao goes a bit more whimsical with Craig and Tweak Moonlight Dance. Wow. <laughs> Dude, what the f In Yaoi art, the seme, or top, is usually dominating the UK, or bottom. As demonstrated in Heather Nishimura's Tweak and Craig Boizu Rabu. But Yaoi can branch out to other things as well. Uh-oh. As we see here in Lily, Frog, Tweak, Oh Craig. my! Yeah, if elementary students were drawing stuff like that, that would raise a few red flags. I just don't get it. I mean, Tweak and Craig aren't gay, right? No. We they could be bi or pan. No, but then why would Asian girls draw them like that? Yeah, what is this Yaoi thing all about? I am so confused. And if it can happen to Tweak and Craig, could it happen to any of us? Well, there are people who figure out they're not straight later in life. And this can happen for many reasons, most notably heteronormativity. Heteronormativity is the idea that men and women have to be together. Think about it, like how many movies, TV shows, books, games have heterosexual couples in them. Now, how many have queer couples? It's a big difference right there. There's also this idea that if a boy and a girl are friends, they're going to be a couple. But that same sort of pressure doesn't exist if it's a boy and a boy or a girl and a girl. That's what heteronormativity is. Uh, excuse me, why are you doing this? Oh, hi, Craig. What? What did she say? I don't know. That was Korean. I'm Japanese. What is going on? <laughs> me and him are together? Why is this happening? Craig, you should have stayed together. Everyone thinks I'm gay. What if my parents find out? <laughs> you should not be shipping real life people together. It's different when they're fictional people, but real life, you should not be shipping people together. And not only that, there's a lot of homophobia and transphobia that exists in this world. So when you do stuff like this, you are outing someone into a potentially unsafe situation. That's why I'm a big believer in schools should not be outing queer kids to their parents because it's dangerous. Parents who are homophobic or transphobic can be abusive, and you don't want to make that abuse even worse than it already is. All right, guys, I know there's been a lot of rumors flying around. Just wanted to check in, see if you have any questions for me. Why are the Asian girls drawing pictures of us being gay? What's wrong with being gay? Nothing wrong with that. But we aren't. I'm not. I'm not either. That is completely irrelevant. This is still a problem here. It doesn't matter if it's two boys, two girls, or a boy and a girl. It does not matter. It's not homophobic to be uncomfortable in this situation because you should not be shipped with another real life person. PC principal needs to take this situation a whole lot more seriously. What matters, and the reason I brought you in here, is that you understand affirmative consent. What's that? If there is a romantic relationship here, you have to make sure your partner is comfortable with any sexual exploration. Ah! Now, in a gay relationship, it gets a little trickier, but you still have to follow some guidelines, all right? What the hell is more complicated in a gay relationship? I think authoritative consent is an appropriate concept to be teaching. How is that any more complicated in a gay relationship than a straight relationship? But I got gay! I don't care about that, bro! Tweak, if, and I'm only saying if, at some point, you wanted to touch Craig's penis, you can't just go grabbing for it, all right? You would need to say something like, Craig, is it all right with you if I touch your penis? Okay, let's try it out. No! This is not something you should be having this conversation with children. I think the topic of consent is important for children, but you need to make an age-appropriate conversation. Like, 
for children this age who have these sort of feelings together, let's say hypothetically that's a situation, that what you could talk about is like hand-holding. You need consent to hand-holding. And as they get older, introduce other conversations in regards to consent. I think one of the big problems in this country is that consent is not being taught. That's why sexual assault and rape is so common, because people aren't taught this. You need to be taught consent. And there's a great video I'll highlight somewhere on here about how tea is like consent. It's really something informative, and if you want to learn more about consent, I highly recommend you watch that. You want two weeks detention instead? This shit's important. Craig, can I touch your penis? Okay, good. Now, Craig, you might say, you may touch my penis. I'm comfortable with that. Or, of course, you could say, no, you may not touch my penis at this time. No, you may not. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now, I can tell that scene is trying to be humorous, but let's talk about what is the undertone of that scene. Why is it that PC principal wants to have this particular kind of conversation with these kids? It's because there is a, an infantilization and sexualization to gay relationships that is far more extreme than heterosexual relationships. This is often why people who are homophobic don't want gay people or queer people around their kids. Because they assume that being gay or queer is in some way sexual. Gay and queer relationships are no more sexual than heterosexual relationship. Randy, you should have a talk with Stan. For what? I guess something happened at school today involving two of Stan's friends being gay. What? Yeah, Stan seems really perplexed. Wow. Our town has only had a Whole Foods for three weeks and we already have our first gay kids. <laughs> so cool. Go That's a big stereotype, a but friend. funny. Hey, bud. How's it hanging? I'm confused, Dad. There was this thing at school. Well, guess what? You've got a really progressive PC dad who knows all <laughs> about this stuff, okay? Go ahead, ask me anything. I just don't understand how it's decided. Ah, well, you see, it's a combination of genetic, hormonal, and environmental influences. Being queer is not a choice. Sure, he tries to allude to that, like, genetic and environmental stuff. Now, genetics do have a factor in queerness. It's more likely than not that if you're queer, you have a queer relative. I know for me, I have many queer relatives, and I also have trans relatives too. I'm not the only trans person in my family. There is a genetic relationship there, but we don't really know what causes being queer. And frankly, it doesn't really matter, because we should just be accepting people for who they are. No, I mean, like, what makes the Asians decide who they're going to make gay? <laughs> the Asians? <laughs> The Asians decide who's going to be gay? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, they do. Uh, the Asians just, you know, they just pick who they pick, and um, so it's the way it's always been. So you've heard of Yaoi? <laughs> yeah, of course. Yaoi, anal intercourse, Maui, Zaoi, I, I know all this stuff, Stan. Okay, Lore has some interesting parenting styles there. My response in this situation would have been, what do you mean by that? to ask further questions because if your kid is saying something and it doesn't make sense to you, ask follow-up questions. Don't double down immediately. Oh, hey, Thomas. Hey, we heard about Craig. We think it's just terrific. What about Craig? Thomas, I'm so glad that Craig is finally happy. Hey, it's Craig's dad, everybody. I think it's interesting that they portray coming out in this way. Yes, in some communities, this is true. Especially in queer communities, we uplift people when they come out. And the reason for that is, coming out is hard. You should be proud to come out because it's hard. The reason we have pride is because it's hard to live as a queer person in society. Many of us face prejudice on a daily basis, and it is a real struggle for a lot of us. But I think it's important to remember that. That is why we have queer pride and not heterosexual pride. However, from my own experience, it isn't this extreme where like everyone's like, so happy for you, so happy for you. It's more like, oh, all right, at best. And at worst, can be hostile. So let's remember that. What did he do? Tweaks out of coffee, honey. Oh, here you go, kiddo. Kids that young should not be drinking coffee. It's bad for their development. Tweak? 
Is there anything you want to talk to us about? No. Well, we heard that you're gay. And I want you to know we've never been so proud of you. Oh, God. Okay, that's a pretty good reaction, if not a little funny here. But if you're a parent or guardian in this situation, my advice is don't bring it up. Let them come out to you. Doesn't matter if you're supportive or not, let people come out to you in their own way and in their own time. You can drop hints that you would be accepting, like, you could say something like, I really like this gay celebrity or something like that. We thought you were just a spaz, but to know you've got so much going on... That's a derogatory term for disabled people. Knowing what I know now, I'm gonna be a much better dad to you. In fact, I just... I just want to give you some money, Tweet. Can I give you some <laughs> money? Here. I, I love you so much, son. I wish people gave me money for coming out. But if you want to help me financially and want to see an extended version of this video of parts Paramount doesn't want you to see, please sign up for my Patreon. Plan start as low as $3 a month. $5 and $10 patrons get early access to these videos. $10 patrons get a shout on the video. Which, speaking of, thank you to Jeremy Bottoms and Apollo for being $10 contributors. And thank you to all of my patrons for helping make this possible. So, head on over to my Patreon. But hey, if you can't do that, at least give this video a like and subscribe. It boosts this channel along and I will greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. The Book of Love is long and boring No one can live the damn thing It's full of charts and facts and figures And instructions oh, okay. for dancing But I It does take time for people to come to terms if they have a queer person in their life. It does take time, and I don't want to diminish that. But what I think is important is that you take that time and really become accepting. And so long as you're making an honest effort to be a good ally, keep going. I love it when you read to me And you Oh my. <laughs> That's a bit overboard. Has music in it. In fact, that's where music comes from. Some of it's just transcendental. If it wasn't so silly, it would be heartwarming. Ooh, trance flag. Some of it's just really dumb. But I. <laughs> God damn it, don't make me cry. I'm gonna ruin my makeup. Dude, Tweak and Craig. It's just so weird. If they've been gay this whole time, have they been checking me out? I'm pretty sure Craig has seen my wiener. Should I kick his ass? Oh, come on. What's wrong with two guys liking each other? I just don't understand it, Cupid Me. Wanting to, like, kiss a dude? But if love is love, then it takes form in all shapes and sizes. <laughs> I guess just because I don't understand it doesn't mean I shouldn't support it. God damn Eric's being an ally. My god. If you're being homophobic in the comments, you're worse than Eric Cartman. And so then my dad talked to me about it. Yeah? And my dad says Asians have always done this and they like do make people gay. You guys! You guys hurry! What? It's, it's Tweak and Craig, dude. They're about to have sex. What? You got a f problem, Dad? You're the one with the f***ing problem! Uh, I told you to stay a hundred yards That's a away. fight, you not sex. Push me again, man! Oh, God, you guys, get a room. Hello, Mr. Tucker. I need to inform you that your son was in an altercation at school today. Craig? Craig got in a fight? Yes, with his boyfriend. Just a lover's quarrel, probably. God damn it. Something to be expected in relationships? Apparently there were no affirmative consent issues as your son knows the right way to play with another boy's penis. Oh, God. Uh, There's not going to be any disciplinary action since they are gay. We want to be supportive, so we're just going to send them on home with some money, all right? 
All right, you have a nice day. Uh, I know that's a bit over the top, but again, that's not what it's like to be queer. Well, hello, Craig. Honey, it's Craig. Aw, hi, Craig. Is Tweak home? He sure is. Come on in. Would you like to have some coffee, Craig? No, thank you. I just These are some of the most supportive Aww. people out there, I guess. He's just up in his room playing. You can go on up. Oh, uh, but keep the door open, all right? <laughs> They're so gay. <laughs> Hey, dude. Ah! No! No! What are you doing here? Wait, calm down. We have to put a stop to this. There's no stopping it! The whole world wants me to be something I'm not! Me too, dude. But there's something we can do. What? We have to come out and say we're gay. What? Are you insane? That's wait, everyone- Wait, wait! Because if we're gay, then we can break up. And if we break up, no more pictures. We just have to stage a fake breakup in front of the Asian girls. At least come out as bisexual, so like, if you want to date girls at some point, that's an option. Cause I mean, it sounds like he's not gay, so like, at least keep that in the window there if that's your plan. Hey Tweak, hold up! Listen, it's just not going to work. What? Why not? I'm sorry Tweak, but we can't lie to ourselves anymore. Yes, we are gay, but we do not belong together. We don't belong together? What suddenly changed, Craig? It's just that people are different, that's all. Uh-huh. And who the hell is Michael? Huh? You want to tell me that? Gay people don't have to be in a relationship together. Because sometimes people aren't compatible with each other. Uh, what, what are you talking about? I went through your phone when we went out last night, Craig. I saw your text to Michael about hooking up with him. Okay. Wait, uh, that, that's not what happened. Oh, it's not? No. Look, we both know this is for the better. Oh, don't use that lame shit on me, man. You don't want to feel bad, so you try and tell me what I want? Wait, don't make me out to be the bad guy here. No, you're not the bad guy. You're never the bad guy, are you? You you just step on people and you use them. You're going too far, dude. This is, like, totally not necessary. I'm going too far? What is wrong with you? This wasn't part of the plan. Well, guess what, Craig? Love doesn't follow a plan. Yeah! <laughs> I was totally wrong about you. I opened myself up and let you in. But you've got spikes, man. You've got spikes. Tweak! That's some good acting. Dude, seriously? Seriously! Say something, I'm giving up on you. I'll be the one if you want me to. Of the waterworks. I would have followed you. Say something, I'm giving up on you. Say something, I'm giving up. Say something. I can't believe it. South Park made me cry. Hi, is Craig here, sir? Why can't you quit him? Thomas? <laughs> okay, so they're going for the Broke Back Mountain thing, which, if you haven't seen Broke Back Mountain, it's a wonderful film. You should watch it. We should say we're back together. Dude, I'm not gay, and neither are you. What does that have to do with anything? You think you can just pull that you pulled at school, saying I step on people and use them, and I'll just take you back? You said to make it seem real. Not that real. Now everyone thinks I'm a manipulative cheater. I'll never get any chicks. I'm so sorry, Craig. You, you made me believe in myself in a way I never have before. I didn't think I had any of that in me, but you were right. I can do more than I think. You changed something in me, and I just... I want to fix whatever's hurting you now. The father crying is a big arc for him, and that's something that should be appreciated there. Be something because everyone wants me to be. I have to be myself. 
You'll just have to go be gay with someone else. All right, Craig. All right. I can see how much they're both hurting, but... Can't you understand that in my time we just didn't accept this? Maybe it's not so wrong. I, I just don't want it to be my son. <laughs> you just need a little prick of magic. You need to pee in your mouth a little bit. Then again, he's my son no matter what. I can't just shut down on him. <laughs> that is an incredible turnaround right there. And something I think a lot of people should be going through. Ooh, Star Trek. Son, you need to listen to me. You can't fight being gay. I used to think that being gay was a choice, but you don't get to decide. Japan picks who they pick, and that's that. <laughs> I don't understand this stuff. Heck, I didn't even know Don King got raped, but... What? I do know that if you try and resist it, you make yourself miserable your whole life. Everyone was so proud of you. I was just being selfish. I want to be proud of you, too. I like gay Craig. I love you. Here's a hundred dollars. <laughs> Again, if you want to be supportive of me like the people in South Park are supportive of them, Patreon. Okay, that was Tweaking Craig. Final thoughts. I actually really like this episode. It even moved me to tears. Now, is this accurate to the queer experience? Not really, but it has a lot of good elements there about coming out and being accepted by your community. So, I gotta give this a B, just like the sissy. And if you want to see my reaction to that, please click the video link on screen. And don't forget to subscribe and leave in the comments what you think I should react to next. Thank you so much. Bye.